Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick Kyogre Kawai and we are here for IBA Season 4 Draft League Week 9 battle up against the San Jose Sharpedos and their coach Helios. I don't think I've ever had the opportunity of battling them before in any draft league so this is an exciting first matchup going down here. Uh, we are just working on getting connected right now um, but let's kind of review the matchup a little bit. We are about to get started. The uh, San Jose Sharpedos, my opponent, is 3-5. and five. I am 4-4, four and four, so kind of an important, you know, match for both of us, um, definitely. This is uh, important uh, to get this dub. And coming off last week, doing really well, I'm very excited. So let's get this thing started. He's got some big uh, threats on his team, such as the Zygarde, Grimmsnarl, Celesteela, Thunderous, um, Cryagonal, and Buzzwall. Honestly, a lot of what I was kind of expecting um there's a lot that hits ferrothorn really hard so i'm a little scared about that but i also am a little bit worried about that grim snarl um i just don't want to take unnecessary damage on anything so I kind of want to lead Darm. It's a pretty good lead up against everything except Grimmsnarl. And even if even if it is Grimmsnarl, like dual screens Grimmsnarl versus my Darmanitan, I kind of want to see how much damage I do through Reflect because it's very likely... You know, Grimstone's going to set up Reflect. I mean, I do two-shot even with Reflect going up. So, um, you know, if that went, if he if he just gets both screens up in exchange for my Darmanitan taking like 50% HP, it's not bad. I What I think is a little bit more scary is honestly maybe even a Thunder Wave. The thing about Grimstone is I really need to find out its moveset. So, I think this is a pretty good, definitely a very good lead. Um, we got Grimstone, Cryagonal, Celesteela, Buzzwall. So, does anything want to switch into a Flare Blitz? Not really. Like, I feel like it's a pretty free Flare Blitz right here. Nothing wants to switch in on it, so I'm just going to click it because it's kind of free. Um, Dio Brando. That's this thing. I mean, yeah, this is not going to like it. This should one-shot unless it's uh, super bulky. So, it is pretty bulky. We do take some uh, serious recoil chip here. Um, could go Sucker Punch. Could go Screens. So... Um, could have a Fire-type attack. So, I kind of kind of want to go Rotom in case it is Screens. Or Sucker Punch. So it is a screen. Reflect goes up. Uh, pretty bulky. I can just keep... I can just click Defog here. Yeah. Yeah. So, both screens are just going to go away here. And then, I mean, this could bring in, like, Cragnall or Thunderous. Um, kind of want to just Volt Switch here. Okay, because he doesn't go for a screens attack. So we are able to KO this thing without any screens staying up. Um, and we're back in a position where I kind of just... I kind of want to just go Darm again. Because I can U-turn. If, uh, if I don't want to U-turn, I can easily Flare Blitz again. Like, there's just no... No resistances to, to Flare Blitz now. The only thing on his team that really resisted um, Flare Blitz, like uh, what on his draft he could have brought, would have been if he would have brought Torkoal or Wishy Washy. But right now, uh, Flare Blitz Darmanitan is just like really free. Um, but we start off 
So here's, but here's the thing. Uh, here is where we U-turn, though. Could be coil, could be substitute. Um, so let's see. It's really, uh... Oh. I kind of want to go out into Mimikyu here. Goes for the Dragon Dance, so I'm fine with this. Um, because, okay, we, we got Leftovers, we got Dragon Dance, Leftovers. I'm just going to click play rough this turn. Substitute comes out. I mean, we could play this game. I mean, I guess he's just kind of waiting for one of these to miss. So it is going to be faster. I don't know if Taunt goes through Substitute. Um, okay. Yes, you can. Alright, so I take a lot of chip, but we still have our thing up. I think this is a good opportunity to go Espeon. Because anything like a Leech Seed is going to get bounced back. So we know it's Sub Dragon Dance, Zygarde. We know. What do we know? What do we know? Air Slash. Does a substantial amount of damage. Um, I'm going to go Rotom because I can pain split it away and I can, I can threaten with a Volt Switch. So, Celestila versus Espeon. Air Slash, yeah, that, that's a, that's an off, definitely an offensive Celestila. Um, let's see. Diagonal. Freeze dry doesn't do that much. It's 252. Still doesn't do that much. I think I'm going to Volt Switch. I think I want to see how much damage this thing's going to do. So freeze dry. Is this an offensive or no? About 50%. It's pretty offensive. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We're going Ferrothorn here. Things leftovers. Get taunt. I don't know if it gets taunt. Uh, I could knock off. Uh, let's see if I gyro ball. Knock off, I could Leech Seed, I could Stealth Rock. I think I want a Leech Seed. 
Curious to see who he's going out goes out to. It is gonna be this thing. So okay. We give ourselves some HP recovery here. I really want to find out if this thing has flamethrower. Um we're gonna go on to Rotom and then we're gonna pain split. Because we're gonna take some chip damage. But then we're going to get a little bit back from the Leech Seed, and then I'm going to click Pain Split, because I'm guessing this thing is going to switch out. It does have Flamethrower. So we do confirm Air Slash Flame. Flamethrower, not very effective. Ooh, snags a burn. So that's annoying. So something that has more HP probably is going to come out. Um, I am going to pain split. Yep, okay, on the switch, pain split comes out. Robin Williams, this is the genie. We get to split some of this pain. Um... Don't really want to break my sash. I kind of want to see what he's going to do. I kind of want to pain split again. So, I mean, we do chip this thing down by doing this. We see what he's going for. Don't think I can take another Dark Pulse. You know, it's got Dark Pulse. I think I'm going to stay in. I think I'm going to let him take Rotom here. Because I don't live that. Yeah, I don't live that. But now this thing is low. Um... And is he going to... Is he going to give me this thing or no? I think any damage on Zygarde would be good here. And I'm going to I'm gonna click Flare Blitz because he might go out in his Zygarde, but I think I'm okay with just getting damage on Zygarde at this point. Captain Planet. Yeah, because, like, okay, how much does this really do? Arm's really strong. I don't think another one KOs, but the best he can do is... So the best he can do here is Dragon Dance, and then but then I have a free Mimikyu to come in and Shadow Sneak because he won't be able to set up sub anymore. And yeah, because he lives on one. Maybe catch a burn. Um, yeah, he just Thousand Zero, so he doesn't even get uh, a speed boost. Um... I can now get a speed boost if I so choose. But I'm going to go with the safe play and I'm going to come out here and I'm going to shadow sneak. Shadow sneak. This should KO. And the fact that I just I have my uh, I have my disguise still intact is huge. I, I am taking a lot of life orb chip. It would have been a good switch. I mean, I guess he's just ready to let this thing go down, but he could have gone into um uh the Celestila again. I do have to be wary about Celestila actually with Flamethrower. 
So I should outspeed everything, and nothing should be able to get faster than me, except for, like, a, a scarf. So we bring out Thickums here. Um, let's see. Celesteela, that's not bulky, versus Mimikyu. Mimikyu's doing nada. Um, even if... Even if I get to plus two. Not really doing much. Um... very easily see a flamethrower come out here but I need I think Espeon is actually the least valuable member here at the moment how much do I how much does Garchomp do Firefang is gonna be enough just goes for air slash we do live though, so we do get some chip, chipperoonies, um, which is definitely going to put this thing in range of a fire fang, which is kind of just all I need right now. At this point, that's all I need. I'm mean, happy Espeon took that. Um, swaps out actually, so it's going to give me free psychic damage onto Cryagonal, which um, Cryagonal actually can't take two of these. Did I speed creep Cryagonal or not? Oh god. Lord, oh lord. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, looks like this thing can live and li live one, but I'm okay with that. Freeze dry comes out. Okay. Ferrothorn comes out. And we can... Knock off something here. It's not going to KO. I could have gyroballed. I think maybe I should have gyroballed. I don't really know. This endgame is tough. I do get a knockoff onto something. Um, get rid of this thing's item. And then I feel like it's just... I feel like this is going to come down to him hitting a... Focus Blast. Is that a crit? Specs are gone. It was Specs. Um, I think Gyro Ball should do the trick. Incinerate! Oh, Lord, I lived barely. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Where there go well, there goes this thing. Specs, Dark Pulse, Incinerate. Wow, I didn't... For I honestly didn't remember that that thing got a Fire-type move. Um, but it's not a very strong one, and thankfully, I live. Um, Celesteela comes out. I am gonna go down to, uh, a flamethrower here. So, Cryagonal is faster. So, that is my... Ah, uh, knockoff. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm getting... Oh. Goes for the air slash, just predicting a switch. But doesn't matter, I live no matter I don't live no matter what. Um gets a beast boost, which is only slightly terrifying. Okay, so case in case it's scarf buzz wool. Garchomp is... Okay, what switches into Firefang? Honestly, nothing. But if I don't do the Scale Shot play, I won't be faster. So I have to Scale Shot and then Firefang. Okay, so we Scale Shot and then we Firefang. Oh, but we miss our Scale Shots. That's fantastic. 
Uh, that's freaking fantastic. That is fantastic. I <laughs> can't believe we missed that. <laughs> oh my lord, Garchomp, why are you doing this to me? Oh, protect Leech Seed. Alright, well. Well. This is going... I should have Swords Danced! What a good strategy! Um, I fire fang this turn, I suppose. He's going to probably try to go for a double. Bruh, is this thing bright powder? Is this thing bright powder? Why am I missing every single attack? I know my attacks aren't 100% accurate, but are you kidding me? I miss both of them. <laughs> oh my lord. Well, that's GG. I just lose. Oh my lord, I cannot believe. <laughs> I swear, this thing has to be Bright Powder, or it's just like my luck is just like so bad. Yeah, and then I should have known he was going for Protect there. It doesn't even matter what I do at, at this point. Yeah. Don't even matter, because I died to that Leech Seed. Yeah, and then this thing wins. Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my lord. Well, GG. Dang. I just... All I needed was those two attacks to hit. And that was that was what I needed. And of course, all the leech seeds hit. <laughs> oh my goodness. It doesn't really matter what I do at this point. I'm just, I'm not going to stall it out. I'm just going to end this game. GG. That was a good strategy. The least seed protect was smart. I really think this thing has to be bright powder because. Man. That was unfortunate. <laughs> oh. GG to my man Helios with the the sets. His team was hard. His team was hard, and it did put on a lot of offensive pressure and really broke through broke through my defensive walls pretty easily. That thunderous and Celesteel. I wasn't very bulky on the special side. I was much more physically bulky with my Ferrothorn, and I was like max fizz def on the Rotom. So uh, especially defensive Rotom in hindsight probably would have been better because realistically I'm not taking physical attacks from Buzzwool and Zygarde that well anyway. So being able to wall out Thunderous and Celesteela better might have been uh, might have been the play, but um, all right. But yeah, I just sent him a GG and I asked him what item he was running on that Celesteela. So go check out his video to find out. He's gonna probably shoot me an answer back here so that I know. But uh, I want you guys to go check out his video. Uh, his channel's linked in the description down below. You can see his side of the battle and check out his team. Um, but yeah, that's all. That's all for this one. Thank you guys for coming out to this video. I'll see you guys next Saturday for week 10, the final week of IBA season four. And then, yeah, it's going to determine next week's going to determine if we make it into playoffs with, the, with losing this week. I don't, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know uh, if I can. So, but anyway, see you guys next time. Thanks for checking out this video. Bye. Perfect.